Hi, my name's Allison Foley, and you're here watching Leading Edge Dog Show Tips. So today we are going to talk about what makes a great winning show dog. By now we know that dogs are judged to a breed specific standard of perfection. So for each breed of dog, the Canadian Kennel Club and other kennel clubs around the world have made a written standard of perfection. And dog shows are dog judges judging each individual dog against that standard of perfection. But this is a very subjective thing because the standards aren't made of exact numbers. It's not the dog must do this in 30 seconds or the dog must weigh exactly this many pounds. Although, you know, some, there are some guidelines like that, but it is not an exact science. And just like a piece of art, what you may think is beautiful, I might think isn't even worthy of mopping up my floor. So that is what dog shows are all about. There is a thing, just like a supermodel, it's that look at me factor, and that's what makes a show dog. A top winning show dog is a dog that is close to its written standard of perfection, and it also has that look at me attitude. And because when we put all those things together, my theory, and you don't have to agree with me, but my theory is, is that dog shows are not about necessarily the absolute best dog, but the best dog in two minutes. Okay, so what we are talking about is the best dog in two minutes. The Kennel Club has decided that each judge will get two minutes to judge each individual dog. So as a breeder, as an owner, as an exhibitor, we have a lifetime to decide how good or bad a certain dog is. We can see it on a smooth surface. We can see it running in the backyard. We can see it in a very controlled environment, on a grooming table, on a cement surface. And we can take hours to examine every little inch of that dog. And a dog show judge does not have that luxury. They have their allotted two minutes. And it is not an undistracted two minutes. It is two minutes where the judges are fighting the sun glaring in their eyes. They're fighting a ring steward that is calling in the wrong numbers. They're fighting the tent flapping, the wind blowing, the, the rain falling. They're, they're, a door is banging and spooking each dog as it walks into the ring. They're fighting manhole covers underneath ring mats that are spooking dogs. So the judges do not have two minutes solely focused on your dog. When you take those two minutes, the time that they actually have to focus solely on your dog is probably more like 20 to 30 seconds. So in my opinion, dog shows are made up of the best dog in two minutes. I think the dogs that consistently win the prizes at dog show, and I mean the big prizes, they win the, the bigger breeds, they go on to win groups and they win best in shows, are the dogs that make the most of themselves in those two minutes. And you can help your dog be one of those dogs by being prepared before you get to the ring. So we need you to not be walking in the ring with your dog pacing, not be walking in the ring fixing your outfit, fixing your hair, fixing your number, finding your bait, or talking to a stranger. We need you solely focused from the second you walk in the ring so the judge can also have that opportunity to fixate on your dog and really see your dog's virtues. So one of the things that I think adds to the best dog in two minutes is this. I have a lot of people that go to different handling classes and they are told by their instructors at different handling classes that they must learn how to hide their dog's faults, that they don't want to show their dog's faults to the judge. Now, I think that the opposite is true. I think if you have five people in a room discussing a dog's fault, those five people are going to totally disagree on what that dog's fault is. So I think it is your job as a handler to find your dog's greatest virtue and do nothing else while you're in that ring but make sure the judge sees that virtue. So you need to decide what is the best quality about your dog and make sure that your dog can show that off to the judge the entire two minutes it is in the ring. That is your job, making sure that you're, the judge can see what you are trying to put across. I think that if you can make your dog show that virtue to the judge in those two minutes, which we've boiled down to 20 seconds, that you will have a lot of success in the ring. So what I mean by making sure the judge sees your dog's virtue is this. If you think that your dog has a weak rear and you're trying to hide that fault, you are going to telegraph to the judge that your dog has a bad rear by trying to consistently hide it. But if your dog has a beautiful face and expression and you spend the whole time in the ring making sure that the, your dog's face is always pointed towards the judge, that you're making sure your dog is looking alert with its ears up, if they're 
it's if it's a breed with that is supposed to have its ears up showing a pretty expression then you have shown that virtue to the judge the judge can look and say wow i can give that dog best of breed or group first or best in show because it has such a beautiful face and expression so thank you for watching today's video on the best dog in two minutes if you liked our video please remember to like and subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching